Hello. Yes, sir. Good evening to all of you, and uh, I welcome all of you, whosoever is watching this Facebook live program. And uh, I'm Dr. Guru Prasad, senior interventional cardiologist and electrophysiologist from Chennai. Mm. Well, I welcome to this live program. Maybe because of uh, the orientation, because I heard the audience is from all over India, from various parts, maybe some are even from the abroad. So I try to communicate in English. Uh, it's difficult to both, I mean, to deliver speech in regional languages because it may be uh, it may not be convenient for others. So, first of all, I hope all of you are doing good in this COVID pandemic and please take care of yourself. So, I welcome you all for this Facebook live program. So, forget that what I am. And this is like I'm interacting to you because, you know, some of you may belong to medical profession and some of you may not. And uh, I think a lot of people are from common background even you know my patients and uh, non-medical professions so i'm going to deliver this talk in in common language uh, try to avoid complex medical terminology and first of all so the, i put the title which seemed apt to me like you know live up to your heart so live up to your heart and uh, um simply simply how to take care of your heart especially health is no see i don't want you everyone to be a doctor or uh, not at all a cardiologist but definitely what what is really a heart disease what happens to the heart and uh, how to take care of your heart and how to consult a specialist and first of all, first of all, so my talk is always prevention, prevention. Before, you know, instead of putting a stent in the heart, in a patient of heart attack. So I want to educate the patient how not to get a heart attack. So this is basically to stress upon the lifestyle so that you will not become my patient. So please concentrate. I'm not going to talk about textbook of medicines, textbook of cardiology. So just to create maybe a couple of minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, I just want to create some awareness of what is this, what is this, and how to deal with this, how to recognize the basic heart diseases. And, and, and second part, maybe my way of dealing, my way of dealing lifestyle to prevent heart diseases. So this is about the basic introduction. So simply, why heart is important? See. Actually, the word heart is heart has come from the Sanskrit word. Actually, Indo-Persian origin. If you if you Google the word, and even that word has the origin from Sanskrit. Harid, harid, haridayam, haridaya, harid, haridavat, niyati, dadati, iti haridayati. That means, see this. This is mine, yours, whosoever it is. This is. The beautiful heart so where it lies usually most commonly it lies in the left side of the heart which is the size of your fist left side of the heart okay so rudabad dadati niyati iti hradayati so it beats it beats it controls your body it delivers dadati it gives away the blood niyati it has discipline beat lapta 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 the beautiful rhythm why why every life every life even plants have heart something like similar to that okay what we talk about heart my sweetheart my darling my sweetheart not my sweet brain my sweet kidney my sweet liver no one says that right so heart is always sweet because this is the only one engine that drives your life 
So how does Maruti, Benz, BMW, Ferrari, Lamborghini differs? It is basically the power of the engine, not just outside the design. Okay. So it is the power of the engine that determines the life. So the origin of heart has come from Sanskrit. It's a heart. So it is the basic engine. So which has, a, I, I just describe this is simply like, beautiful house of yours beautiful chambers four chambers this is the beautiful heart model you can see all four chambers so right we you know right and left chambers the upper chambers are atrium which receive the blood and lower chambers are ventricles which pump the blood the right heart pumps the blood to the lungs which we breathe the oxygen purifies the blood and then gives it back to the left heart and the left heart pumps to the body to the aorta so this is simply a beautiful flat four room flat okay with beautiful doors which are known as the valves we say four valves mitral sorry tricuspid mitral aortic and pulmonary beautiful doors just like your house has and beautiful electrical and water pipeline system. So just like your home, so your home has doors, walls, windows, the electrical system and the pipelines for the water supply. Similarly, the, the, the great engine of our body, the heart, has four chambers, four rooms, which, which are very beautifully constructed, which, are, which have partitions. So both right and left chambers are not connected. You have a partition here. You can see this is the wall, interventricular septum and interatrial septum. So you have two different portions which are not connected. But the upper and lower portions are connected by this valve, these valves. So tricuspid valve on the right side, mitral valve on the left side. So the simple structure. And if you see this, if you see this red, red, if you see this, these red lines, they are the arteries, coronary arteries. If they are blocked, you get heart attack. Simple, I'm going to, I, I'm going to describe that. So these are the coronary arteries. So corona means crown. So they just decorate the heart like a crown, like a princess. So that's why they are called coronary arteries. The pipelines, the main blood pipelines of the heart. So if you if you remember, so among some of our sayings, you know, first thing what says what Krishna says in Gita is Uddare Atmana. First, you should take care of yourself. You only can take care of yourself. So that is why the first organ, the main organ of the body, the heart, feeds itself first. So that is why the first supply of the heart, so first blood supply. To the body comes to the heart itself first and then next important thing is brain so next blood supply goes to the brain so first is heart next is brain so bolte dil se, dil se, dil ki baat suno, ki nahi hai. because your mind can fool you it can cheat it wants to deceive it is selfish but our heart dil ki baat bolte कोई भी ऐसा नहीं बोलते हैं दिमाग की बात नहीं अगर दिल अच्छा होता है तो दिमाग भी अच्छा होता है वी नो ही हैज अ स्वीट हार्ट नो वन सेस ही हैज अ स्वीट ब्रेन सो दिल वी वी बिकॉज़ द सीड इवन फिलोसॉफिकली द रेसिडेंस ऑफ सोल इज हार्ट सो द द रियल हार्ट यू नो सो वी बिलीव यू नो द सोल लाइज इन द हार्ट सो दिस इज द रूट residence of life in the body even the soul so hridaya dil so dil ki baat suno dimag ki nahi so heart wholeheartedly we speak the words wholeheartedly uski dil acha hai kind hearted person my sweetheart how are you sweetheart so any emotion is really connected to the heart so that is why Emotional imbalance, sudden stress, this is, you are very right. 
stress can produce heart disease, heart attack, severe, even sudden death. So that is why mind, stress, emotion especially is very well connected to the heart. So that is why mind stability, mind control, the calmness, the mental peace is very, very important for the heart disease. Okay, so this is about the basic description of the heart. So simply, what diseases can affect the heart? Simply, what diseases can affect? So I, I, I just, I'm showing you the, the beautiful house, the beautiful four room, four room flat. Okay, simply, what diseases? The common thing, see, so start, let us imagine the life starts as a child, right? So you might have heard uh, that baby has a hole in the heart and this baby becomes blue whenever she cries or he cries. So we say them as congenital, that they're, you're born, you're born with the disease, some defect, something like, in a, I say, manufacturing defect, manufacturing defects, something like that. So one, so you, you buy a mobile, so out of thousand, one may be at fault. So these are known as manufacturing defects. So congenital, born with the defect. The heart is defective when you are born or even when you are in the fetus. So which we can detect now because of advanced technology, we have fetal echoes, fetal imaging, good echocardiogram, good cardiologists can detect. Even we can even now operate on the fetuses in the womb, in the mother, before you were born, in advanced institutes. So hole in the heart, sometimes the blood will mix, the impure blood, pure blood will mix, making, you know, resulting in congenital blue babies. Like tetralogy, important example, tetralogy of phallus. So, okay, so I'm just, my descriptions are simple and this talk is basically meant for a common man. So how not to get heart disease? Except this, except these born defects, which are genetic or inherited, which you don't have any control because you're not going to change your mom and dad and your fate. So some run in the families, except this, the rest of the heart diseases are in our hand. The, the great man in, in cardiology, Paul Dudley White, you know, when I was reading his textbook, is we consider as one of the joint, one of the stalwart in the field of cardiology. He taught us the clinical medicine, clinical cardiology, Paul Dudley White. You know the first sentence in the introduction chapter? Heart diseases before 80 years of age, neither nature nor God's will. Okay, neither nature nor God's will. So before 80, if you get heart disease, it is near totally it's your fault. God, God, God will never wish any heart disease before 80 years. It is you who are responsible for this. Except this, this born defense. So how do, why should we get heart diseases at all? Why should we get heart diseases? So before that, what are the heart diseases? Simply, so congenital. And second is the valvular disease. You might have heard rheumatic heart disease. Rheumatic heart disease. Rheumatic. So some bacterial infection, especially poor uh, developing or underdeveloped countries. So all children crowded, no hygiene under one roof. So no, no good hygiene. So a lot of throat and respiratory tract infections, especially staphylococcus. Not so, sorry, it's a streptococcus. It was some of the bacteria known as beta hemolytic streptococcus. So when they infect the tonsils, sometimes the toxins can damage the heart. They will go away. That can be treated. Infection is easy to treat. Simple penicillin infection. You might have heart penetrate injection once in three weeks. Okay. So severe joint pains. But finally, eventually they damage the heart, especially these doors. You see this? These are the valves, the tricuspid valve, especially the left-sided valve of the heart. The mitral valve is damaged. So what we call as mitral stenosis. We try to repair it by balloon, sometimes balloon angioplasty. If it is difficult to repair with balloon without surgery, so we may have to subject it to open heart surgery with replacing with methane. Simply, you say, if the door is damaged, minor damage, you repair it. Major damage, which is 
which you cannot repair, replace it. You change the door, simple. So that is known as valve replacement surgeries. So congenital heart disease, rheumatic heart disease. Then if you come to the normal adult grown up little bit, maybe above 40, usually 40 years. What is the most common disease? What is the most common disease of all adults in the world? Simply one disease, that is high blood pressure, hypertension. 40% of the adult population of the world is suffering from hypertension. 30 to 40%. So hypertension, high blood pressure. That is the most common heart disease. You know one thing, it is a one minute diagnosis. If you go to a good doctor, and check your blood pressure and I tell you, I should inform you, any doctor, please, who say your bloody hell even if it is God. If you see a doc, it may be skin doctor, it may be gynecologist, it may be eye specialist, it may be hair specialist. If a doctor does not check your blood pressure, please do not see the doctor again. Please, please, please. This is a million, million, billion, trillion dollar information. If you visit any doctor, if the doctor does not, at least his, his assistant or in, in front of his eyes, if your blood pressure is not checked by a good, I say, good assistant, good nurse, at least even sometimes by the doctor himself. If any hospital, any doctor, when you visit, if your blood pressure is not checked, Please don't see their face. They are not doctors. Useless. Sorry to say this, but I, I, this is very important. Simply, if they don't care about your blood pressure, how do they care about your health, total health? So please, this is very important because all over the world, if you read medical economics, medical budgeting, most of the health budget, the complications are related to high blood pressure and its complications. When you have a heart attack, when you have kidney failure, when you have a stroke, tremendous budget you spend simply because your blood pressure is not under control or it is not detected. So please make it a mandatory that your blood pressure is checked whenever you visit a doctor. It is easily controllable, one minute diagnosis. A, a dedicated nurse or a doctor can easily diagnose that you have a blood pressure or if you have a blood pressure, your blood pressure is under control or not. But because if it is not under control, the complications are devastating. Very, very disabled life. So again, I'm the, even if you are a gynecologist, you are a skin specialist, ENT, whosoever the doctor vis you visit, if that doctor does not check your blood pressure, he is not a doctor to me and that is not a hospital. You, simple. Because that is very important. That is very, very important. So blood pressure is one important preventable heart disease which can be easily controlled. Simple medication. Fine. What is next? The most important heart disease. You know, you know heart attack. Heart attack. Everyone knows it, even layman, even kids know that heart attack, heart attack. So in hero, heroine, poor, poor hero, rich heroine, heroine elopes with hero and the news parents come to know. So severe stress, haba, you might have seen several old movies, typical Indian movies. That stress, heart attack. So heart attack is, is, is a panicky word for everyone. So, what is heart attack? Simply, you see this red blood vessel, this one, what we call them as coronary arteries. If a blood clots form in that, in that blood vessel, small blood vessel, if that is blocked, we call that as heart attack. How does it happen? Simply, it's, it will not, heart attack is sudden, but that sudden event has a lot of build up from the time you are born because the cholesterol fatty streaks remember the word cholesterol 
It scares some of the people. Cholesterol is very important. It is like a brick. But remember, with the brick, you can build Taj Mahal. And with the same brick, you can break your head or someone else's head. And the same brick can be a speed breaker and which you can hit and then get an accident. It is how you use the brick depends. So similarly, cholesterol is the building brick of your body, your cells. Without cholesterol, your body, your structure, you will not look beautiful. You don't look beautiful, you don't look handsome. Your beauty is your cholesterol. Okay. But cholesterol excess in the blood becomes a speed breaker. Okay. And if that cholesterol, which is freely roaming in the blood without work, so, so that's, you know, jobless mind is devil's death. Similarly, if you have a sugar, blood sugar, that will damage the cholesterol. And these damaged cholesterols are like bullets. They go and damage these blood vessels of the heart because they are very minute, thin. They are like bullets. They go and damage these pipelines and they become pile up. So that is what is known as atherosclerosis. In medical terms, we call this as fatty streaks, atherosclerosis. And one day that becomes like a valve on ruptures. That is the time you get heart attack. The blood will clot there. So if you come within sudden, so you get chest pain. If you come in within, I mean, if you, as soon as you come, you know, as fast as you come, we can give back the life. We do the angiogram and we can put a stent, angioplasty and stenting. So we can give you back the life. So heart attack is very, very important very very important disease which everyone is scared of and that is the one where we can give back the life especially remember nowadays we are seeing grandparents getting their grandchildren sons and grandsons with heart attacks so older people are healthy it is young people most of us you know most of them they are getting heart attacks and the complications are devastating. Young people cannot tolerate because it is unprepared heart. They die suddenly. They have a lot of complications. So, please do not neglect any chest discomfort. Okay. So, I will come to this later. How to detect. The finally, there are some genetic cardiomyopathies, blah, blah, blah. And very important thing. I told you this is like a pipeline the water supply of, the, of your home, sweet home. And a good home will have beautiful lighting, beautiful electrical circuit supplies, it's nice lighting. And that is known as the cardiac conduction system. And heart have a beautiful battery, just like your mobile, which is like a small basmati rice size that lies here. And that battery will work for your life. If you live for 100 years healthy, the battery will, will charge and then give you one second every beat. One second every bit throughout your life, imagine 100 years, that battery is worth it. And as of not, not today, even in near 100 years, no company, no Apple, no Samsung, no company can make such a tiny battery which can work without charge for 100 years. See how much gifted you are, how great the nature of the God is. A basmati size rise of battery lying in the heart and giving you the beating every second once without retirement, without stopping, 100 years, maybe 120, 130 years, as long as you are alive, if you are healthy. That is the greatness of the creation. We call that as sinus snow. Sometimes these batteries and these the wiring systems of the heart, they get damaged, then these devices will fit. These are the pacemaker devices. See, this. 40 years back, these pacemakers were the size of the briefcase and you have to plug in and take it like a trolley, airport trolleys, something like that. So now with the technology we have, this is the size that we make the pacemakers now. Future, okay, it may be brighter, but still it is not equal to the God's given simple pacemaker because this will work 10 years, that's all. And God's given pacemaker, I told you, 100 years. So this is known as the pacemaker. Sometimes if the heart beats very, very fast, ventricular tachycardia, how people die in heart attack? It's because of 
very ha fast heart beating. We call it as ventricular tachycardia. Electrical, electrifying, electrical, just like it. Just like, you know, shocks, shocks. Or a mineral mari, just like shocks. So this is the device that we implant them. This is ICD, implant, just like you saw in movies, you know, a lot of CPR, shock, shock, a lot of, you know, these incidents, heart attack and CPR will, will, this is the story of many of the Indian movies and even Hollywood movies. So all these can be avoided with simple ICD pacemaker. So that, that gives life, especially if there is any ventricular tachycardia, okay. So these are the basic heart diseases I told about, birth defects, congenital, valvular diseases, rheumatic heart disease, common thing, heart attack. And very very important disease simple disease hypertension and arrhythmias the fast and slow heart beating and sometimes genetic cardiomyopathy where there is no cure only you have to take medicine and sometimes we have to uh, transplant the heart we can even transplant the heart okay finally before i go to preventive strategies so how to recognize a heart disease simply i say keep your life track the way what, what are your daily activities as a measure? You know, remember, I used to walk every day 5 kilometers. Someday or sometime, you cannot do your regular activity. So, this is for people who are at least who reasonably exercise. For an idiot who doesn't want to work, sit idly in the chair, eating simply, then I do, I, I think is is not worth of living, he or she. So, then, then there is no description for them. Simply what I am saying is, you do your regular activities. If you are unable to do because of some discomfort in the chest, imagine that can be a heart disease. That can be. That may, that may not be 100% always. That may be something that heaviness in the chest, something that is crushing inside your chest. You cannot breathe like choking. So, if you cannot swim, if you are drowning, a person who is drowning, he gets it just gasps for the air. That feeling, if you have, that is heart attack. Sometimes that act that comes as a heavy pain with sweating and radiating thought because the, the nerve that supplies the heart also supplies the hand, this side, left hand. So that is why some people, at least 50% of the heart attacks, you feel pain along the hand. That is why be careful when you are walking. You get left hand pain, please evaluate. There are many other reasons, spondylosis, trauma, accident, nerve pain, a lot of things are there. But if there is nothing else to explain, your discomfort anywhere from the jaw to the umbilicus. Heart attack can have pain and discomfort anywhere from the head to umbilicus, back, hands, fingers, throat pain. Sometimes as soon as you eat, you, eat, you get excess sweating, you cannot walk. That is what we call as postprandial angina, this chest pain, angina pectoris. So that means your circulation in the heart is not sufficient. The pipelines are getting blocked. The high time to check, evaluate and then get the necessary testing and then confirmation. Okay. And why should you get heart disease? This is about basic picture of heart diseases. Simply, why should I get heart diseases? Simply. All over the world, big, big doctors, famous universities, they did a lot of research, billions of rupees they spent. And simply, so what all our grandmothers said, they, they only said the same thing. Why you should get a heart disease? Simply sugar, BP, excess body weight, obesity. This is what we call, this is known as inter-heart study all over the world simple reasons why you get heart disease if you have sugar you have high chance bp yes obesity excess weight yes lack of physical activity if you don't exercise you die 10 years early 20 years early you should sweat you should exercise 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 the body don't worry about the glamour it is physical activity. Even if you are a bit heavy weight, doesn't matter as long as you are active physically. Then smoking, heavy alcohol. These are all very important risk factors. Then stress is very important. Stress, mental stress. 
Then cholesterol, this lipidemia we call high cholesterol levels. High cholesterol levels. So sugar, BP, excess body weight, smoking, heavy alcoholism, stress, high cholesterol levels. All these, you know, see all these nine risk factors. What you cannot see, each risk factor will contribute 10 10 percent. The last 10 percent is your genetic, your mom and dad, which you cannot change. Except the 10 percent, the 90 percent of your risk factors are in your hand. So, if you are control your sugar, blood sugar, blood pressure, cholesterol, avoid smoking alcohol, at least excess alcohol, reduce your weight, start walking and exercise. Okay. Reduce your stress. Stress and mind health. So, these nine protective risk, I mean nine risk factors is easily controlled. If you act, if you are active early itself. So, 90 percent, that means what? The common simple risk factors, 90 percent that can result in heart diseases. Simply you can control on your own. What you cannot do is genetics. So this is the famous intra-heart study which has taught us simply all over the world. Maybe US rich people to a beggar in on the on a central railway station. Okay. Or a very very poor person in Somalia. So these risk factors are the same. So this is the reason that the question, why should we get heart disease? So simply, how to deal, how do you deal, how to prevent? So for five minutes, I spend a little time on how to prevent these heart disease. So if you see, live up to your heart, live up to your heart, especially what I practice, I think I, it's a bit, it's a, it's, a, it's a little beyond science and medicine maybe, the way I deal with it at least. First thing. Aham Brahmasmi. First, see, I am just going to describe you the ten commandments. Just follow these ten rules. Probably, probably, you can get rid of these diseases. But very difficult, very difficult, but very easy if you can inculcate these habits. First thing is, feel yourself. First. You are the only person who is important on this earth. You are the only person. See, the moment you wake up, then only you see the world. When you are sleeping happily, the world doesn't exist. So, Nanda Kadavul Aham Brahma Smith. So, be happy if you wake up healthy, alive, happily in the morning. If you are moving your body, head, legs and hands and you wake up in the next day morning, first of all, be happy because 20,000 people on this earth, they are dying in the sleep every day. So, you are not that lucky person. So, you have awakened alive. 20,000 all over the globe per day. 20,000. Just, just, they die, they, they go to sleep without any complaint and they will never wake. So, when you wake up, Next day morning, simply just feel that you are the God. You are the God. I am the God. And thank God. Feel that you are God. You are godly. And thank. See, this. just touch your body. Touch your face. Touch your body. When you go to washroom, have a beautiful look of your body. Because no one is watching you. Feel your beauty. Whatever you look. Enjoy. This. Enjoy just how beautiful you are. You are alive. If you start feeling happy about your body, I bet 90% of the diseases are gone. The problem is you don't follow. You don't respect what I say. I mean that the title, what? You can never be my patient. If you really, not just listen, if you really feel and follow my 10 commandments, just feel great about your holy body. It's really great. 
jantu nam narajanma durlabham that's what adi shankara says in viveka chudamani it's out of several millions of births if you believe in philosophy the janmas that you get this body such a beautiful body every body is divine every body is divine so respect that and feel that you are the god and thank god every day when people said you know first pray be happy be, be feel that you are you are alive and your body belongs to nature thank the nature if you are non believer of the god okay if you are an atheist don't worry you thank the nature because you are born out of nature no one can deny that second commandment so okay you are alive you are born okay okay you are alive you woke, you you woke up alive second is have an instinct of survival okay you you woke up alive then believe your instinct of survival yes i am going to live happily healthy you know if if you watch the movie the the saw saw is a horror movie series up to 6 i think saw s a w it is a horror movie of course not for kids it is a beautiful sentence in the movie the the villain acts an insurance company guy because the villain is rejected his insurance because of some flaw whatever you know the the dialogue the the villain character asks the banker you know you think what makes a patient to survive health insurance my great doctor great surgeon or huge money the bank that argument i mean the conversation just goes on you know what this guy says the villain the best thing that makes a patient to survive is his will to survive his will to survive that is the number one thing i am going to survive this surgery this tending this procedure and i will add the second one the trust on the system and the doctor believe if if he is a good doctor believe blindly more than the god believe okay so first is believe on you so you are will to survive and trust on the sis at least trust on the science and the system so our drugs are just you know they work but i don't deny that but this is a will power scientifically proven the prayer works published in new england journal of medicine that is a great study in baltimore hopkins none of that it's a big hospital prayer helps so have a will to survive so that survival instinct is the second commandment and third respect your hunger respect and simply we all like you know which animal you like or i like i like lion and no one likes snails and you know no one likes jackals foxes you okay you if you are weird okay you may have exceptions you may be the guy but if you ask me what do you, which animal you like i like lion you know the, no uh, this only pigs come in groups lion is always single no famous rajni kaun dela why lion everyone wants why lion is the king of jungle lion eh singham madri dala singham pole simham lion even the lord vishnu took the avatar of lion you know to to demolish the demon see even god took the avatar of lion 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 singham dala why why lion is such a this one see there are many animals you see the 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 elephant okay an elephant and a uh, lot of animals you know even you know, buffaloes there's so many animals bigger than lion but why lion why everyone is scared of lion right every animal is scared of lion even the jungle becomes silent when lion is walking you know because because it has the attitude of lion what is the lion's attitude or lion's way of living you know 
someone tested even you know the cholesterol of lions and tigers you know 70 you go any bar who, who is having beer or any drink you check blood cholesterol it will be 300 400 500 even more the bar non vegetarian lion and tiger the cholesterol is 40 simple so then why what is the lion way of living i tell you if you want to live like lion you can become lion i bet provided if you follow the rules of lion there are only two rules of lion lion will not ask darling lioness please keep get me one talapakati biryani no it hunts its own food remember these words the billion trillion dollar words lion hunts its own food and it hunts only when it is hungry so simply if you follow this eat only when you are hungry okay and hunt your own food because you're not going to hunt hunt what i mean is till you feel hunger you exercise simple excluding the breakfast don't eat unless you are hungry simply if you follow the rule i bet you are going to live like a lion for 100 years okay only thing in time you have to have is the breakfast if you follow this eat only when you are hungry okay and to become hungry you work out don't fast you work out stress hunt your food walk 10 kilometers to buy one fish run 10 kilo do 100 push-ups before you eat one piece of biryani go for a marathon if you want to eat full biryani so this is the lion's way of life i bet 100 years you live if you eat only when you are hungry you live for 100 years take it granted and what to eat see it's not about sin papam punya adala vittinga so vegetarian non vegetarian simply vegetarian has, he has scientifically it is proven scientifically proven i don't deny don't i don't say that don't eat non vegetarian but avoid unnecessary violence and the name of you know because we have to take care of the ecosystems also and try to avoid red meat red meat is definitely not good what is red meat like buffalo pigs and uh, no, this mutton mutton items mutton and pork beef these are red meats it is not good for the heart patients at least and definitely gut cancers you know that uh, stomach and uh, bubble cancers are more in these red meat consuming people cancers are more definitely that is science i'm talking about medicine okay so healthy food what is healthy food eat nuts fresh anything fresh see that is lion lion eats hunts food it, it doesn't eat uh pizza from domino's and uh, uh chicken burger from uh, kfc never okay so a lion will never never eat that okay so it hunts fresh it doesn't keep the rest of the meat in the fridge no so eat fresh a lot of you know antioxidants you know because the cholesterol destroying thing was you know leaves nuts and fresh vegetables fruits especially fruits have a lot of antioxidants and uh, definitely next commandment is addictions no addictions no addiction you can have social drinking just for fun even i don't say see people ask you know very smart some doctors da solvaangale konjam drinks kudikalame konjam kudicha nallade heart ki doctors da solranga doctors advise to drink that is a bullshit statement because you you love to drink what we say and what science says is those who are drinking excess please drink less you are forgetting those who are drinking excess you are forgetting and you are just listening drink less i mean that means take it granted doctors that's all wrong you are just listening to the half of it so those who are drinking more please drink less those who do not drink please don't drink this is not the advice the other way around so for a non alcohol non alcoholic or non drinker we don't advise alcohol never those who are drinking in excess 
please drink less little like one beer or one large pack that's all simple okay and simply meditate meditate in the sense say you buy you buy a ferrari you work for the boss you love your uh, wife you love your kids idella mattavangalukku da see these are all for others you do simply you just think this day at, at at the end of this lecture at the end of my lecture you please think what did you do to your, yourself ah uh, i ate biryani no that is you were just satisfying your hunger how did you nurture your body this body what did you do okay just like a, see you you take a car you you imagine you have a some bench car okay you just clean it nicely or you ask your servant or driver cleaner see you did the cleaning work the shampoo washing for your car maintenance every 6 months or wherever it is required so what did, what maintenance you did to your body today okay i have a shower i cleaned all my dirt but even that we are not doing well like you know when we are thinking you know something you are thinking we are not even enjoying the shower the hot bath in winter the cool shower in summer we are not even enjoying that you thinking something else so what did how did you nurture your so did you feel the greatness of your body did you massage yourself or ask someone to massage did some exercise got some sweating did some you see i say what i mean meditation is nurturing your body thinking about your body soothing your body thinking just about you nothing else is meditation the focus only on you that is what ramana maharshi said who am i just think of see how beautiful my birth is my body is how lucky i am still alive happily so just focus on your health focus on the breath thanks thank the nature just be happy that feeling of a, a kind of peace is known as meditation relax relax exercise and then relax and final commandment just to finish before that you know what the greatest stress buster the greatest stress buster on the earth is for me family if i have a family see when i was reading you know i i i practiced enough time you know i had i learned i spent enough time like a citizen in in united states of america i i have my good life in various part of the world in different countries and you know we are lucky that we have family we have people to fight people to quarrel if you go out, you see people traffic is be happy for that people are dying out because no one is there to talk to them in some of the some parts of the world they don't have families one patient came to us in new jersey once to i mean asking for uh, medicine to suicide then i said why 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 you want a medicine to die then you instead re re question you tell me doc why should i leave why should i leave my wife left me kids left me. something like he got depression because alone simply we are not saints we are not going and meditating in himalayas even saints have ashrams blah 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 kind of thing so you are a person who belong to society and the greatest stress buster is family respect no one ever will care about you either you and your family respect your parents respect your siblings love your family they, they will be equal no one is equal no one will match 100% to you you will fight every day but still it is adjustment life is nothing but adjustments it is not about luxuries it is about comforts and adjustments it is about understanding if you understand don't command from the from the word of command if you go to the word of understand simple 
the world is at peace and you are at peace. And I bet you get all, you get rid of all hard decisions. So this is what my 10 commandments are. So if you practice these lifestyles, controlling stress, you know, I'm not joking. You, I, I just have, you know, Eric Topol's textbook of, updated textbook of cardiology. You know, the words, the, now the, 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 the new heart disease risk factors, stress, I put a 10 to 20 year old engineering student. He is not a no smoker, no nothing. Stress, lack of sleep and pollution, unhealthy diet. These are important risk factors for heart attack nowadays. Please remember. So don't think, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't... No, no, I'm saying, no, but you may have. If you don't eat properly, if you don't sleep properly, if you are living in a place like Delhi, which has highest pollution, high pollution, and stress, they are enough to get heart attacks. And not just heart, need not be heart attack. They reduce the lifespan tremendously. I'm talking about science. So no one needs to be actually those who you know the beggars who drink, you know, all the cheap liquor every day, fight, drink, you know, all unhygienic, unhealthy practice, they are living happily. So See, there is an emotional factor, a stress level, a set threshold of the mind, which is really, you know, because the, great, the worst toxin in the body is adrenal. And that belongs to your mind, mind level, stress level, your control and peace of the mind. That stress is high for us, not for the beggar, not for the one who drinks every day and beats his wife on the street. They, they, they live happily. Because they, they just they forget everything. They don't think about next day. They just drink, sleep happily. Anywhere on the world. They are not going to die soon. At least most of them. So it is the mind peace that is very, very important. Very important. So, follow these 10 commandments. At least 90% of the heart diseases you can prevent. And I, I say, you know, if, if no one comes to me, because I am practicing as a cardiologist. I wish if no one comes to me, I go and make some movies. Because I like direction. I can make some movies. I quit this profession. But unfortunately, mine doesn't listen, right? So, people are of different kind. But those, for those who care about themselves, if you follow, because the teacher teaches the same, but only one gets the first one. Maybe top five students, top ten students. It is for them. So, because everyone knows good, what is good. They know every good. Every, even kids know what is good for them. But unless you experience, you feel and practice, it is difficult. So, if you don't respect it, you will be my patient. If you respect what I said, and you, you will never be, at least most of the time, you live happily. And you will never be my patient. So, thank you one and all for patient listening. I hope... Uh, this has thrown some of the, this is not great science and I'm not, I didn't teach you cardiology, not at all. And uh, this is just to, to show what I feel about the health and about heart disease and my way of lifestyle and what I suggest, I suggest. So never, never lose your fitness, uh, never lose your health. So... Nothing, nothing is equal to it. Okay. So, thank you for your patient listening. So, maybe any questions I can take for a couple of minutes. So, I'm seeing some comments. Uh, so, sir, I'm medicine resident. Can you please take class for medicine? People faculty. Okay. So, okay. Uh, I think there are some doctors. So, definitely, uh, I have a Facebook page, Guru's uh, Teaching Academy. Uh, maybe, I think, you know, I keep on, uh, because from this year onwards, I'll be aggressive in both medical academics. And see, first of all, we have social responsibility. And I, uh, I'll make available for the common man, common public. And slowly, you just follow my Facebook page. Um, maybe 
something like guruism about lifestyle a bit maybe philosophy and and guruism and uh, gurus teaching academy and my facebook page you just follow uh, and that gives a lot of information and we are going to be aggressive in in the media so that this will be helpful this is not this is just the beginning and soon we will plan you know say suppose one day i'll take about what if what you should do at home when you have a chest pain so all this please follow my uh, page so that you can i'll post you the updates and at least once in a month uh, i'll try to maybe brief maybe 10 minutes 10 minutes of video on live programs we try to do that and for your question of uh, medical uh, teaching Mm, that can be possible maybe stay in touch uh, and uh, we we share a common whatsapp number so if some of you can assemble making we can we can share these live zoom meetings or academic sessions especially virtual so everyone need not come to chennai and then have classes so at least some of the difficult topics especially for the medical students physicians and maybe simple topics like uh, how to read an ecg how to read an acid base balance how to evaluate respiratory versus uh, cardiac dyspnea kind of thing okay so uh so this i think um, so definitely this is just the beginning and uh, we are there to help anyone any time and we are glowing and let me conclude before i conclude i tell you one thing so for doctors for doctors and also for non doctor non medical people there are so many doctors now so many so many even i am scared of my own you know doctor faculty because you know theriyama pona ena inge pona ena panuvaangalo i still i have i have my own concerns when i visit an unknown, unknown doctor so people ask you know that's what uh, that's the pathetic situation in india patient in the hospital uh, one of our patient admitted and do you know some doctor why why you should know every doctor should treat good there should be trust on the system so unfortunately uh, that's lacking in india i i hope so that is why first is every doctor should be good every doctor is meant for humanity see that's our primary job if you don't like this profession please leave this this is not where you can experiment this is not you can say you can say that uh, no no if you don't have money don't i don't want to see you no this is not the way at least life saving basic aid at least concern of humanity empathy you should have this is a prime quality of any medical person not just a doctor so these qualities you should imbibe and then so slowly you know you have the place see there are there are several doctors n number of doctors but still there is a value and there is a place for good doctors with human touch so please maintain that 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 uh, empathy so feel for that and try to help maximum you need not lose your own money and your own your whole life so as long as you practice just try to help the people make them understand spend some you need not see 100 patients say see 10 patients spend good time explain them make them understand that's what i do so make them understand what problem they have so so that you can deliver a best care okay so i'm seeing a lot of uh, people i'm medicine uh, people faculty yes uh, some student medicine classes yes definitely please stay in touch to my facebook page and you can you can uh send your numbers in my messenger so that we can list out i have a team of it team i have my own it team uh so that they can arrange for online classes okay uh, i think some dr ritija patil okay so um if some of the medical students if so i try to take classes maybe specifically for medical students maybe for practitioners family physicians and uh, even young cardiologist who are willing to learn so even i can learn from my so whosoever wants to teach me so learning is iterative i i learn i wish to learn i like to learn and i can teach so please drop your names those who want further continuation especially medical classes and those who are really interested in lifestyle changes so i want to start a center for lifestyle change definitely 
So I'm not a messiah, but yes, yes, what I practice, I want to show that this is the doctor who is giving a living example of setting what is lifestyle change. See, I, I, I'll be happy teaching you what kind of exercise you need as a heart patient rather than putting one more step. I really like that. So if you're really interested, because I want, I want, I want something. I, I left all the, uh, the whole world just to do something for our India, something that I can change, I can showcase. So I, I rather be proud to be a preventive doctor rather than a doctor who puts stenting, who transplants the heart. That's the last step. So that is for only few. But for most of you, I can guarantee that you can cure yourself. You need not be my patient at all. So just follow me and listen to me and follow what I say. So uh, definitely both the classes will be taken for medical people and non-medical common public. Maybe enroll yourself, follow this page and at least once in a month or once in two months to begin with, I'll take classes on lifestyle management. Simply one day diet, one day exercise, one day how to take your medicines. What are the side effects of medicines? How to give a care to a heart patient in your family, like bypass patient, heart failure patients. You say it's a continuum. I, 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 I love to teach. I love to encourage. So health education is my, my biggest fancy. So please stay in touch. So, um, so some of them are sending wishes. So everyone, good evening and thank you for your comments. So Kavita Verma, LCX 100% block with thrombus, do you advise intervention? So unfortunately, so if, if someone is asking for an advice, so with a little piece of information, my advice will be wrong, definitely. So it is better if you ask your primary card, if you still have some confusion, if, if uh, there is some, you know, there is no good expert for you to advise, maybe you can drop all your reports Maybe you can come for online consultation. You Before you ask for an advice, let me know. Let me know all the information about the patient. So 100% block, if it is, if it can be opened, if any good cardiologist says, says, yes, it can be opened, open up, and that can be put a stent or, especially if you have a thrombus, um, it depends, again, acute thrombus and uh, organized thrombus. Acute thrombus in acute MI, acute heart attack, we just suck it out by thrombus suction and then we can put a stent. But unless I see the patient directly, I, I go through the reports, at least angiogram. I want to see the angiogram CD, which is fresh within three, six months. Then uh, I can give a good advice. So if someone asks me an advice, please, uh, free time there should be, please drop all your reports in the messenger or in a WhatsApp group. So and find time, any free time, and uh, because I'm busy, I, I may be busy with some, I'm busy because of only, because because of patients only. So not for my personal work. So that way it is bad. I can suggest better. That is the only reason. Okay. Mm, so, so LED and RC also below. So that's what. So if there are multiple blocks, it needs a different kind of evaluation. So maybe whether there is any viable myocardium, how symptomatic the patient is. So if you are nearby, if you really want, simply, I am not God, I say, but I am an expert. I follow the science. It's not that my greatness. I've learned from great people, science. I, I follow the updated knowledge. I update myself what is best. If you really want good advice, it is it need not be ultimate, but I'm not God, but I can give you the best advice. So if you have the pains of consulting me either online or traveling and then show up yourself. I can give you 100% best advice if I see the patient directly because seeing is believing. So without directly interacting and taking history clinical examination, my advice won't be correct. So please drop yourself with full information or come physically so for the best advice because this is an expert field, not just we have a fever, take some paracetamol kind of thing. Please understand my limitation also. Thank you. Uh, so some are giving already feedback. So doctor, thank you. I try to change my lifestyle. Good. Because this is really impressive. You know, if someone is motivated by someone else, because after the Bruce Lee film, most of the karate class 
institutes are full. But over a period of time, slowly they dilute. So I say one thing. That is my my quotation. Okay, if you follow my page, Guruism, you see my quotations. Many can start. A few will continue, but only one can achieve. So yes, inspiration is good if you are inspired by because you know I have so many gurus for my inspiration. So yes, it is good that if you are inspired by my speech and then my talk, but sustain it, sustain it. So whatever it takes, just, just, just feel greatness of your body this lifestyle. Because I tell you, you're going to live only for once on this earth, in this life. I don't, no one has seen God, neither I have seen and not, I don't believe if someone else has seen God. And no one can prove how many janmas, how, forget these philosophies. But simply one fact which everyone should agree is you are alive and you have only one life on this earth, this beautiful life. And you will never get yesterday. Okay, tomorrow no guarantee. So live up, be happy. Simply the, the reason to be happy is you are alive now. So simply this is what I follow. You know, someone, sorry, you please have a poor polo. You'll be happy other ripping You look happy. Yes, because I am alive. The greatest reason, the only one and one reason, which is 100% why I am happy now is I am alive. Please, damn it. See, per second, every second, lakhs of people are dying. Some dying suddenly, some dying in accident, some in the hospital. Bloody, you are alive at this moment, seeing me talking. I am talking and you are listening. You are alive, damn it. So be happy. Celebrate. This is the moment of celebration. This one reason is enough for you to live happily forever. So yes, if you get motivated, sustain it. Sustain it. So that is why great saints and munis, they don't find a reason to be happy. They are just happy themselves. Anando Brahma. So you are sufficient to be happy, to live happily forever. I am talking about forever. You may have emotions, deviations, but there is a constant that is you. That is you. That itself is enough for you to be happy. So, so many people are commenting, giving positive feedbacks. Thank you, one and all. And uh, yes, maybe there will be you know, several topics, several doubts. And uh, I think it's already one hour. Okay, exactly one hour. I just exceeded. So stay in touch. Follow me. And uh, if you want to see me, see, uh, it's not for, uh, I'm, a, I'm a happy man. See, I'm not, I did not come to India uh, for something else. I, I really loved my country, something, you know. So I've seen US, UK, the great countries, Japan, Australia. So why can't we, we, we implement the system? See, there is some mistrust in the medical system. So, I'm not God, I cannot change everyone, but something that I can assure you is, yes, at least, you know, there is a good and bad everywhere, in every profession. But if you really want something, and at least an opinion, good good uh, advice, and we can, see, we, we can, starting from preventive cardiology up to cardiac transplantation, we can handle. So, we have all solutions for n number of, any number of cardiac problems. So... But at the same time, understand science and then its limitations. But if you really want a second opinion, good advice at least. Whether you are treated by me or not, that's a different issue. But at least we can suggest you. We, have, we are a good big team, expert team, trained, trained in premier institutes of all over the world. So we can offer you at least a good suggestion and sometimes even good solutions. Okay. So hope that has given... Uh, a bird's eye view of uh, heart, heart diseases and uh, the preventive aspect of the heart diseases and hope you have benefited uh, to some extent and this is just the beginning. Let us continue in successive series and please stay safe, feel responsibility, take care of your elderly people, take care of family and uh, still you know the corona is not vanished so please use mask. Uh, uh, especially when you go out, when you're in the crowd and 
take all safety precautions. So your family, you, your health, your family and their responsibilities in your hands. So take care and stay positive, stay healthy, stay happy. Okay. Have a good night. See you soon.